Hi, welcome to my channel, Breeze Butterfly. I have a collective message from Source for the sign of Taurus today. And all this will not resonate for everyone, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I got the channel song Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry, and they told me to play it, so I'm playing it. And I'm getting the sense that you have outgrown some people in your life and they want to come back and you don't want to have nothing to do with them anymore. Like ever again. You're going to take a leap of faith in a new direction and you've been getting signs and synchronicities about this. And you've been using your intuition. Some of you are very psychic and can see the future. And you've seen glimpses of a new future where these people are not in your reality. So let's start with a Ask Angel Oracle deck. What do we have for the Divine Collective of Four Spirits? What messages do we have for the Divine Collective of Taurus? Be assertive in that new life. And someone is going to come to you. I'm getting like a hothead. <laughs> like with a lot of temper. A temper tampering. If you don't agree to what they want. They're going to beg. They're going to plead. But you don't want them back. And there's nothing they can say that's going to change your mind. What else do we have for Taurus, please? What do we have? That's way too many. We'll take the top one. Forgiveness. Someone wants you to forgive them. They've hurt you in a big way. On the bottom, we have improving health. They want you to heal this, like heal them. They need your energy. And they want your forgiveness. And they're not going to want to take no for an answer to come back into your life. But that's going to be the answer. Okay. Let's see what the Kipper deck has for us today. Sign of Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? I think you've been getting signs of this person trying to come back as well. We have occupation. You may have worked with them or met them at work or through work. They might be a co-worker that turned into a relationship. We have child. You may have known them since childhood. Could be family or a childhood friend as well as possibly a co-worker, an ex-lover, current lover. What else for Taurus? We have concern and high honor. They put you on a pedestal. They didn't before. I feel like a, an ex coworker, ex friend, like they're they're not in your life right now, or they haven't been. They've been maybe they're trying to come back now, but they've been out of your life, and they want to come back. They're very concerned that you won't take them back because you're not. I'm not getting that at all that you will take them back or let them have a part of your life in any way, shape, or form. They're going to act like they put you on a pedestal that everything they do, they do it for you. And that is not the case. It's lies I'm hearing. It's a show. Just to steal from you again. Your energy, your time, your money. <laughs> your life. I 
I'm hearing soul. Like someone has been trying to, con they've been conjuring up evil spirits or demonic spirits to take your soul. But it's not going to work. You're very protected by the divine. You are high honor. You're looked upon like you are a child from the universe, source, God, whatever you call it, your higher power. There's nothing. They can't do anything to you at all. Let's get the tarot. What do we have for the Divine Collective? Horse. I'm hearing Walk by Pantera. Like, they walked away from you, or you walked away from them, and they're not allowed back into your life. We have the Nine of Swords. They are very concerned, grieving that you're going to take this, be in this new adventure, this new life without them. They want a piece of the pie, I'm hearing. What else for the collective Taurus? I'm hearing airplanes by BOB. We have the King of Pentacles. Someone very stable, professional, a boss. Someone that's worked really hard on themselves. That's going to get a huge opportunity because of what you've been through. I'm playing the Walk by Pantera. We have the lovers. Definitely a decision between some people here. We have the Empress. You're creating your own reality, a new reality, birthing, birthing something new into your world. And then we have the two of pentacles. Definitely, definitely a decision needs to be made between love interests. So you, there's a decision you're going to have to make between at least two people, if not more. Someone is definitely not of your, has your best interest at heart, and the other one does. What more can you tell us about these two different lovers or more as interested in the collective? What else do we have about these two or more lovers? We have... The Ace of Wands, a brand new passionate beginning in career, in love with this new person. They have some secrets themselves, but they're not deceptive. They know secrets about someone that's been lying to you, actually, is what I'm getting. So a new person that's going to enter your life has some information for you. And that's what this other lover, friend or family member, co-worker is concerned about. That you're going to choose this new path with this new person. And they know what the, like it's known to them. They know it, but they're trying to stop it by any means necessary. Under the King of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is a divine counterpart. This new person. And we have the emperor to the empress. Like a boss level. Power couple. Power couple. Wow. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. This other person is a burden. 
or these other people in your life. You need to let them go. They've been very deceitful, cheating, stealing, and lying all about it, keeping it hidden. What else do we have for Taurus? I'm here a new career as well for some of you. We have the hair font. Oh, sorry. The hair font. This is definitely divinely guided. All this is happening for a reason. These people are exiting your life for a reason because of what they've done to you. All the betrayals. I'm hearing your betrayal by a bullet from my valentine. And they are in deep despair. Five of cups over this. They don't want to let you go. They're not going to give up without a fight. Well, they're not going to win that fight at all. Not for what I'm seeing here. Like, you're going to take this new opportunity, this leap of faith into a new world. A whole new world, I'm hearing from the cartoon Aladdin. I cut the deck to the Devil Upright and the Knight of Pentacles again. In the reverse, though, this time. Someone's been very, very naughty. <laughs> Very. What else do we have for... Okay. Oh, I told you, you're going to have victory over these people that have done you wrong. Six of Wands. I'm hearing fame, fortune. Everything they've ever took from you, you're going to get back times a thousand fold, I'm hearing. A thousand fold. Like, they don't stand a chance. What else do we have for Taurus? The King of Pentacles. Clarifying the King of Pentacles. <laughs> wow. Someone so stable. Thinks of you as high honor, for sure. And they are high honor. Like, they're very well known already in the public eye. They get lots of respect and they respect others. A little bit of a authority boss figure. Big boss figure. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Wounded War, you've been through a lot of shit. These people, whoever this is, have put you through hell and back. Hell and high water, I'm hearing. Hell and high water. Like, they've done everything to try to take this shit away from you. Take your life purpose, your gifts, your money, your life in some instances. This won't resonate for everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Wow. Major power couple here. I mean, and the Six of Wands. And this is definitely divinely guided. These are divine gifts coming to you for everything that you've been through. Very, very deserving. Let's see what Taurus has manifested and what is coming to Taurus. These are making magic manifesting cards. We have goddess or god energy. Well, this one in particular is healing the feminine energy. We all have feminine and masculine energies. We have prosperity, a prosperous business with riches and success. With this new person, you're going to be very, very successful in everything you do. The Midas touch, I'm hearing. And on the bottom of the deck, we have 
Trinka5555, five, 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 Manifesting Money and Income with the Prosperity card. It's going to make you extremely abundant, extremely happy. So that's what I have for you today, Taurus. Thank you for joining me.